Between milestone birthdays and projects just piling up, I've been mapping out everything on my calendar just to stay on track lately. And one project I'm most excited about is a personalized song for my Aunt Esther. I'm using AI music to make it. Let me show you how it's coming together. I'm listening to an old mixtape recorded long ago. So, who was Aunt Esther? Let me tell you a little bit about her. Esther loved music. She sang alto. My mom sang soprano. To keep children occupied, they would get them to sing songs in the car, in church, while doing chores. Best guess, their mother kept them occupied the same way. The Olsen kids were fans of a band called the Hoosier Hot Shots, and when this band was ready to play, they'd holler to their percussionist, Are you ready, has he? And he played this metal washboard with bells and horns attached to it. So the Olsen kids would head up to their attic in Portland's Brentwood district, and they would pretend to be the Hoosier Hot Shots. Esther played Hezzy with the washboard, and that nickname just really stuck. I knew her name was Esther, but I never called her that. She was always Auntie Hez. Her 100th birthday is coming up November 10. She's no longer with us, but we still think of her a lot. So for her birthday, I thought, why not make her a new song using Suno AI? Because she'd get a kick out of that, or else maybe she'd think it was a little bit creepy. I'm not sure. This AI music stuff. At first, I sort of ignored it. I thought, real musicians should make the real music, right? But then one day, a co-worker texted He said he was going to be late for work because his dog broke its leg. And then he said, wow, that sounds like something that should be in a country song. Our manager responded with a Suno-generated country song about the dog and the leg. And that's when I realized the potential for personalized music. running late this morning. Our dog might have broken her leg. I will be. I never liked greeting card music, but I thought it would be fun to send personalized songs in a text message that definitely fills a space for personalized, lighthearted songs. All those things that she's talking about now are the volume control and the microphone and the rewind, you know, stuff up on the lid of the recorder, you know, it's all written in red up there. His and my mom used to mail reel-to-reel tapes back and forth to each other. My cousin Joe got some of these tapes digitized and I've taken the files and cleaned up the audio. Joe also has most of the family photos organized and some videos. She got those together for me, and I think it would be fun to use them to make a 100th birthday video. Then we'll use this song for the background. So these stories on tapes are just a riot. There's one more. Andy Hez is talking about some friends. Apparently, Steve wasn't supposed to let people know his wife was expecting, but he let it slip and got in trouble. Dora and I were getting dinner, and she told me that hers is coming the last of August. Steve wasn't supposed to tell a soul. That big old dope, he sure... Oh, he's nice, but he's sure full of prunes. And another story is about a flat tire. I even didn't know, even know what it was. It sounded just like a bullet, and he thought, sure, he'd been shot right in the chest. <laughs> the old Ford. We should have gone to the Nash. He was sorry he didn't take the Nash then. And got the tire changed. Finally, it was after dark when we got home. In the very last years of her life, Auntie has lost a lot of her memory. She didn't remember who I was, but if I said... I'm Shirley's girl, she'd respond with, oh, Shirley Ann. And if I started singing, she'd sing right along with me. I thought it would be fun to put some of these stories into her song. She liked the piano, so I'll use that as the bass, I think. When she wrote poems, she leaned towards humor and literal language. So here's how I'm writing the lyrics, pulling from his story. I might start it like this. I'm listening to an old mixtape recorded Long ago, a young Aunt Esther tells a tale of friends she used to know. She says that Steve, he's nice enough, but he's just full of prunes. He let it slip. He spilled the beans. The baby's due in June. Yes, I'm taking some creative license because the baby was actually due in August, but June rhymes better, so I'm going to go with it. And that's the thing about writing lyrics. You don't need exact facts and you don't need exact rhymes. Just get in the ballpark. For example, I'll probably say that their tire went flat and they fixed it with the jack. Flat and jack don't rhyme exactly, but they're close enough. 
Now, here's where I had a little fun. I wanted to try a few different musical styles just to see what would fit. Since Andy has loved the Hoosier Hot Shots, I thought I'd try some fun old-timey music. I'm listening to an old mixtape recorded long ago. That's not bad. Definitely a fun, upbeat sound, but it might be a little too lively for this. And then I thought maybe a Broadway musical style. I'm listening to an old mixtape recorded. That's closer. I want something that I could maybe play myself. Let's try this. I'm listening to an old mixtape recorded long ago. A young Aunt Esther tells a tale of friends. Yeah, I think this is it. And now I'm pulling together the photos and videos from Cousin Joe along with some of these recordings. I'm going to put them in a little video, and then I'll have the music I've created in the background. So it'll be a personalized birthday video for Auntie Hez ready for November 10. It's amazing how we can use these tools to bring old family stories to life in new ways. So yeah, I'm a little bit hooked on this whole AI music thing. Thanks for following along with my process. Let's see how it turns out. If you're curious about trying AI music for yourself, I'll drop a few links in the description to help you get started. Until next time. Spin those stories, Auntie has that Steve, he's full of proof. I'm listening to your old mixtape, the hero of this tune. Spin those stories, Auntie has your voice is still a spark. Tales you told, the life you lived, you're always in my heart.